Well, as you can see, Fraser is just about to come out of the swim. He's going to be heading up the beach and towards his bicycle into transition. T1. Now, there's a lot to think about and a lot to do in a very short space of time, and it can get complicated getting it in the right order. So in this video, we're going to be breaking it down and taking you through T1 step by step. Swim to bike transition, commonly known as T1, is the link between getting out of the water and mounting your bike. There's a lot to think about in this relatively short space of time and some key points to keep in mind. The most important rule to remember is your helmet. Make sure you have your helmet on your head and the strap fastened before you touch your bike. But don't worry, we will go into more detail on that later on. Nailing a good transition actually starts long before you're out of the water. Towards the end of the swim, you need to turn your mind to the task ahead. Visualize the stages step by step so it's clear in your head and trace the route in your mind. You can also prepare yourself physically by starting to kick your legs a little harder, making sure they're warmed up and more able to cope with the transition into running. Once your feet are on solid ground and you've exited the water, put your goggles on your head so you can clearly see where you're going while still keeping your hands free. Next, once you've got your balance, jog or walk to your transition area whilst unzipping your wetsuit and then pull it off your arms and down to your waist. The sooner you do this, the easier it'll be to remove as it'll have more water in it to assist you. Now you can fully remove your hat and goggles and jog the rest of the way to your bike. Make a mental note of where your bike is and any distinguishing markers that'll help guide you there. Doing a walkthrough of the exact route you'll take in the race will really help as well. And having a towel laid out can help you locate it as well as being useful for drying your feet. Once you reach your bike, remove the rest of the wetsuit as fast as you can. Try to kick the final fold of neoprene off over your ankles whilst using the opposite leg to stand on the wetsuit, providing an anchor point to pull against. Alternatively, it is okay to sit down if you find that easier. As briefly mentioned earlier, make sure your helmet is on and securely done up before unracking your bike. It is compulsory. On the topic of the helmet, if there is space on your handlebars or aero bars, then leave it upside down with the straps open to either side and the front facing you, so when you pick it up, it'll be facing the right way on your head. Shoes should be the last thing that you tackle. Try not to lift the shoes too far off the ground to meet your foot, as it can be easy to lose your balance. Make sure you do one at a time, and don't forget to tighten and make sure they're comfortable. So as we've shown, there are a lot of components and a lot to think about when it comes to T1. But the more often you practice it, the quicker it will become second nature on race day. If you like this video, please give us the thumbs up and remember to click the globe to subscribe to see more videos. If you want to see a video that marked it about your T2, then click here. <laughs>